YouTube, it's your boy FB Aftermath back with another video. Glad you are here. Now, with the title of the video, you already know what it is. Your boy is going back to wrestling. That is correct. If you have been here since 2015, 16, 17, 18, you might have known that I actually had tryouts for WWE back in the day, right after when all the NFL stuff was popping, going crazy. And now I've decided I think that is where I should put all my energy and focus. Now, I had a powerlifting meet, you know, a while ago. It was fun, but I didn't feel like that was my purpose. I didn't feel like that was something that would give me what I wanted. Now, that being said, with wrestlers, you got charisma, you got athleticism, you got chaos. I think those three things alone describes me. So therefore, that's where I should be. So we go ahead and do a workout today dedicated for my training for WWE. Well, I mean, all my training right now will be set out for uh, getting ready for a tryout um, in the process of getting that situated right now. But in the meantime, there is a school, Reality of Wrestling. Booker T owns it. It's about 45 minutes away down in Texas City. And uh, hopefully I can get some training in there as well. So if you are interested in what this process is and would possibly want to see if Brian's ever available to come to the to the wrestling gym and film some of that content as well, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow this process, and I will give any tips that I have for anybody looking to also try out for wrestling. So let's go ahead and get this workout started. You already know Alpha Line, use code Aftermath, 15% off. Now I only always like show the pump, the pre, um, the pump pills and things like that. I'm, the, pre, the protein's okay, it's not my favorite. You know, I'm just being quite honest with you. The protein's okay, but I haven't tried all the flavors yet. So, warm up has to become even more crucial, especially as you get older. But as I'm trying to do something where a lot of injuries happen, probably more than any other sport. You know, wrestling is a very high risk sport and you have to take care of your joints, you know, do mobility exercises, stretch. And I feel like mobility and stretching and things would, should be the number one priority for injury prevention for, you know, cause your body always ends up in very awkward, weird, you know, um, situations so you have to kind of prepare for that and you also have to prepare for sudden impacts as well you know catching yourself jumping off the ropes landing on your body it's a lot of body work so that's something you I'm just trying to tell especially the younger guys when you're younger you kind of feel like you don't need to work out but take them that 20 30 minutes to warm up you know before just get it get used to doing it Warm up should feel like a workout. That's a proper warm up. But anything gonna feel like a workout working out out here. Cause heat, it was it felt cooler yesterday. Today is hot. We over in the hundreds today. I needed to find some shade to do this because there is no way. Uh, are we in your way? No. Oh, okay. Um. So one thing that we have with the WWE tries, it's just kind of like a time get up, up down. It's like their version of up down. So we'll be doing that for about 30 seconds. years ago I did make it to WWE I did get offered a contract but for those who wondered what happened one my agent was stuck on you know me still you know he was he believed we could still make it work for football um, and two WWE back then um, 
I was pretty much scared to like lose everything I owned. Um, you know, my YouTube channel, my social media. I was sponsored by Reebok and, and they, and I wouldn't have been able to be sponsored by Reebok anymore. And the thing about it was financially, it didn't make sense for me to sign back then because Reebok was a big, you know, part of my budget. Reebok's contract was damn near, Reebok's contract was damn as much as the WWE contract, you know? And that was only one source of income for me. So it was like, why would I drop at that time? I couldn't afford to honestly drop Reebok <laughs> for WWE and then like lose all my other sponsors and things. Things are a bit different now. So now I have the freedom and ability to really go all in for this. Um, so yeah. Oh, that was actually easier than I, that was actually easier than I thought. All right, so movement, footwork, a lot of these things are very crucial. Once again, even if you're wrestling, it doesn't stuff like this doesn't have to be like basketball, football, um, what other sports? Soccer. You know what I'm saying? Footwork coordination revolves around all type of athletes. So we're gonna do some sets of this. We're gonna super set. We're gonna go back and forth eight, and we're gonna wanna do four depth jumps to high box jumps, working on some vertical stuff while we're working on lateral stuff as well. WWE wrestling, AEW is all about performance, but honestly, on a, another scale, almost as high as the performance, your look is very important. Your look is very important. You know, I talked to a lot of wrestler guys. Y'all don't know, I used to train Xavier Woods online. He was one of my online clients and a friend of mine. And, you know, you try to get in shape, like, you're like, yo, I gotta come in clean, gotta come in cut, built. You still got to do the bodybuilding type of stuff just to kind of function like um, composition of the body correct, you know what I'm saying, come in tight. So you got to have a balance of both, which I've always been able to do, you know. Despite me not having crazy eight-pack abs, I've still been able to keep it together somehow. All right, so our rep scheme, warm up, 15 or 12 to 15, eight to 12, six to eight, and we'll probably finish right there. You don't do too much. You don't want your chest to be too tight, right? So you still have to do a lot of mobility work because let's say, you know, building the chest, of course it gets tighter. But when you're having to catch yourself, fall on the ground and things like that, that's when you're gonna get tears and a lot of shoulder issues. So don't do too much chest. Like do a lot of, do some progressive overload stuff, but I wouldn't say go crazy. Take the purple peel if you know it's real, man. So I'm doing a little bit of more volume pump stuff. We're gonna take some S7. I don't know. I came across S7 like maybe three months ago. I need it. I need it every workout now. Every workout. I get like four. My bench has been kind of weak lately. I'm not sure why, but it's been pretty weak lately. Ah, let's ascend, let's ascend. Come on, I know I don't want to do it, but I need to do it. Let's get it. Single arm snatch. 
snatches, dumbbell snatches, about six to eight reps for three sets. Focus about exaggerating that snatch. Be right here, boom. Explosive, everything explosive. If you move slow and sloppy, you are gonna be slow and sloppy. You gotta exaggerate sometimes for those, for those moments when you don't feel like doing it, but you know you gotta get that shit done. You gotta make it look good. I'm gonna like Bruce Jenner, the winner, tasting them for dinner. For this, the movement, especially for your arms, like I had a bicep tear long ago, right? But this kind of lets me know my strength in what areas, right? So being able to use the right form, a hard pull, there's a lot of jerking and, and pulling, right, and wrestling. So this kind of mimics a lot of movement that I'll be doing with my arms, the snatching movement, maybe something overhead, maybe picking somebody overhead and slamming them. But a lot of this, just a lot of quick movements with the bicep and a lot of uh, quick contractions. So this is good to, this is good to train those arms, those biceps, those connections uh, to get ready for impact in certain, certain situations. Coming inside, we're gonna do some med ball. We're gonna do some hip extensions to press. So we'll be right here with our med ball. Seat it back, and as your hips come up, you're extending the ball. We're gonna do this eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do four sets of this. Oof. Make this shit happen, man. Anybody out there think it's too late to do something? Some things there is, some things there ain't. You know what I'm saying? It's just all about research, you know. Dave Bautista, a few others, they started their wrestling career for the first time without even knowing anything prior. When they were 31, I'm 31. So, I mean, could I have done it five years ago? You know, but honestly, I feel like I'm much in a much better health space. I feel you know, joint-wise and things, I feel a lot better than what I did back then, because honestly, back then, you know, I was kind of in pain and stuff a lot, you know? Um, but now I'm much looser, wake up, no aches, don't have any knee pains or like joint pains or anything like that. So I feel like over time, as I learned, you know, how to train better, um, that pretty much got me ready for what is to come, you know? I know it's coming, it's just about getting there, you know? So about, you know, the timing of getting here, so. Oh. All right, so, finishing off a little bit of conditioning, all right? We got the heels over here. We're gonna do some heel sprints. Feel like it's, you know, something good where I can get a lot of intensity, don't have to go travel a far distance. Also, heel sprints are safer than running flat or of course decline because you're not having to extend your leg. You have not having to extend your hamstrings as far as when you would for flat. So sprinting up heels is definitely a safe route for a lot of you if, if you have mobility issues in your hamstrings. So we're gonna do this. We'll probably do about eight reps. Probably go up and down, just eight reps and just kind of do it for time. One thing, you're gonna hate the conditioning while you're doing it. You're gonna hate it. But after you're done, 
you be so relieved and you feel so much better. I'm telling you, it's like motivational. You get like this, this sense of clarity after finishing conditioning work, some hard training. So definitely, man, do that training. I know it hurts. I know it sucks when you're trying to, you know, get it done. But do that shit, bro. For all y'all, ladies, men, just do it. You're going to feel so much better. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's workout. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm here to motivate you guys, you know what I'm saying? If you all, I, I, I've started this new group, like broadcast channel, you know, definitely check that out on my Instagram. Also, if you got questions for me, you want to talk to me, bro, twitch.tv slash TV. Catch me on my live streams, man. I'm so, I, I want more people to come through, ask me questions, talk with me. You know, if you got, even if, even if it's about my programs or fitness, gaming, life, Bro, come through, come to the Twitch channel, find me there. Let's go ahead, get ready for the next workout for uh, WWE. All my training right now is straight towards, you know, wrestling. So, point blank, that's what I'm aiming for. That's what I want to dedicate myself to from now to like, till I'm old. You know what I'm saying, what I'm saying? So I want this to be like my career, you know? So, fitness industry is just, I've been in the fitness industry since like 2013, 14. And like, I'm tired of it, bro. Like, I still want to be involved with it, but not like, you know, Oh, that's a fitness industry guy, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't really like how the industry's going, and I want something, you know, that can provide for me, you know, uh, outside of just doing this fitness shit. So, that being said, hope I motivate you guys, and hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you later. Huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing the fucking wrong. Oh, yeah, stage right in front of three people. Yeah, how you gonna go through WWE? No, it's because I'm like trying to remember how, how you did it, how you did it. Wow. <laughs> I think they're faster than that. No, they're not. You're a little rusty for sure. No? I am rusty. Do you have a name?